We begin with spring breakers making their way to the Sunshine State to take in everything Florida has to offer. Many of you may actually want to be skip town. Tampa International Airport, they're preparing for a busy spring break season right now. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shares just how many people they expect to see over the next few weeks and what you need to know if you want to avoid a travel headache. Tampa International Airport's official spring break travel season gets underway this weekend. And if recent passenger numbers are any indication, TPA tells me this could be among the busiest on record. There's nothing like spring break in the Tampa Bay area. Siesta Key is a phenomenal area, so we're yeah. <laughs> like any chance to get away. The beach. We like to. <laughs> the beach. It's been great so far. We've been here for like two hours, so <laughs> looking forward to the rest of the week. But if you're heading out the door for your next vacation, get ready to pack your patience. Tampa International is getting ready for a busy spring break season. I think some of the bigger like schools might have spring breaks later, so I feel like it's going to be a lot busier yeah. in the airports later on. Yeah. TPA tells me over the past several days, they've seen passenger counts that exceed those compared to the same dates in 2019, some by as much as 29%. Airport staff say this spring break period will see peak days that reach nearly 88,000 passengers and many that will exceed 80,000. I think it's people want to get out and are restless and cooped up and it's good to do something exciting <laughs> you know, again. Taking a look back, TPA says last year's spring break saw about 65,000 passengers per day during peak times. And in 2020, they say numbers were very low in March and April. The recent rise in passengers, TPA thinks reflects both the demand for travel and less worry as COVID cases drop. We traveled here last year. We were the only ones on the plane. For your trip, TPA recommends booking your parking in advance, choosing express if you're not checking luggage, and of course, arriving early, giving yourself plenty of time to get through any spring break travel rush. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. And we wanted to give you some perspective on this year's spring break. That's why we're going in depth tonight with a travel expert. The pools are dazzling. The beaches are picturesque. Spring in Florida is about as good as it gets and visitors, they know it. Bookings are strong at the Billmar Beach Resort in Treasure Island. But what about those of us who are wanting to get away for the spring holiday? Well, Donald O'Neill of Travel World says be prepared to shell out some extra money. People need to be flexible. They need to be realistic about what they want to spend because there are not a lot of last minute cheap deals out there. O'Neill's best advice is to be open to many locations and travel dates. Businesses, they're more pumped for the spring break than they have been in years.